Our vision at IBM Research, you're in Ireland, is an urban water system which is intelligent. It is fully instrumented, fully interconnected and integrated. With such a system, we can, in real time, continuously monitor the health of our water, both in terms of the water quality and in terms of the water quantity. It's a system with which we can better predict anomalies, we can better analyse and act on them, we can better optimise the operations of our networks. And it's really a system where we are looking holistically at the entire water cycle, from rain to drain and back again. And here in Ireland we're in particular focusing on how we can deal with the real-world uncertainties affecting the system. These could be uncertainties related to sensor data, related to the models we use, related to the decisions decision makers need to take. And what we're doing is we're researching and combining techniques from areas such as data mining, optimization, data assimilation, advanced analytics, to make this vision a reality. And all this research is translating into real-world solutions today. In urban water networks, a vast amount of data is becoming available from sensors that are embedded within the system. These are things like smart meters that are showing up on houses and also existing sensor installations at the entrance to DMAs. And these sensors are measuring not only hydraulic parameters but also water quality parameters. And this data can be used to capture and characterize the uncertainties that the system experiences. I'm delighted to be working with IBM Research Ireland on the water theme. What we've already achieved is a very good dynamic visualization of our water network in three dimensions, which shows where the water comes from and where it goes. What we're working on now are two really important projects. The first is dynamic adaptive pressure management. Now the importance of that is we're using the very latest sensor technology providing dynamic data to allow us to uh, reduce our water consumption and find leaks. The importance of that is that it's replicable anywhere else in the world. Over the last two years we've been involved in setting up a radar system on Galway Bay and uh, the system comprises of um, two individual radars, one near the city at a wastewater treatment plant, Mutton Island, and the second is on the pier in Spittle. From these, uh, we sense the surface of Galway Bay, and every hour we get back maps of the currents in the surface of Galway Bay. Our particular interest in doing this, or one of the interests in doing this, is that we want to improve um, the prediction uh, of our numerical models of water circulation in Galway Bay. In order to do this, we're working with um, IBM Research Ireland um, to develop what's known as data simulation techniques. The idea here is that we take the data from the radar and we merge this with predictions from the numerical model to allow us to be more accurate in forecasting what's likely to happen in the future in Galway Bay. We're at the intake tower of Inniscarra Water Treatment Plant for Cork County Council. The Inniscarra Lake in the background ground here is the source of the supply and it's at levels of approximately 50 metres over sea level. The water treatment plant is at 100 metres over sea level and to pump the water through that 50 metres we incur annual costs of half a million euros. We're currently in partnership with IBM Research Ireland to develop real-time strategies and make greater use of real-time energy pricing to further drive down the operating costs here for Cork County Council. The collaborations with universities, municipalities, utilities and other partners is essential in making our vision a reality. The research in Dublin, Cork and Galway is showing how such collaborations are contributing to smart urban water systems today.